Hey guys, I will welcome back to Cracktober. We are trying a new recipe today. Now, this recipe is similar to one of our recipes that is our favorite that I will share with you guys next month, but it is a little different, and so I thought we would give it a try. For this recipe, you're gonna need one bag of the frozen tortellini, one 32 ounce of chicken broth, you are going to need some kielbasa sausage. We use the beef. She said that she would recommend doing two. However, when she cut hers up, she kept them round and we typically cut ours in half when we're gonna do ours. So I'm gonna leave it with one this go round and see. You're gonna need a bag of spinach. I went ahead and took off all the stems for ours because that's how we like it. And then you're gonna need two cans of the petite diced tomatoes. She said you need regular. We don't have regular. We just have the basil, garlic, and oregano ones. You're going to need a block of cream cheese, a bag of cheddar jack cheese. You're going to need onion powder, garlic powder, and Italian seasoning. And basically, we're just going to combine everything and let it sit in the crock pot all day. We're going to be out and about today, so I'm just going to cook it on low. I'm going to get the kielbasa chopped up, and then I will dump it all together in the crock pot. All right guys, so we got everything combined in here. I'm gonna put it on low while we are gone for the day and let it cook for about six hours and then we will be back to try it and let you know how we like this one and if we prefer this one over our regular recipe that we do or see how that goes. All right, so our soup is ready. We're back at it. Oops. I did stir it one time um, while it was cooking to break up the cream cheese. Look at that. So let's serve it up and and go ahead and rate it. All right, guys. So we are back. Soup smells pretty good. I'm a little nervous to try it to see in comparison to how it tastes to our other tortellini soup that we make. Um, but we got our bowls served up and we are gonna give it a go. I'm gonna try to get a little bit of everything in there. So the bite of the kielbasa, spinach, noodles, tomatoes. Not bad. It's not bad, but I definitely like our original version. Mm -hmm. I don't really taste kielbasa. Better than this one. Um, yeah. I'm gonna rate this one a three, where I would rate our favorite one probably like four and a half, maybe even a five. Um, I'm just gonna give this one a three. I'll give it like a four. It's not bad, like it's still good. It's no, just- it's not bad. I just probably wouldn't make it again. Mm. I I like it better the way we make it, and I'll share that recipe with you guys soon, um, next month. Um, so yeah, this was a recipe that I got off of Instagram on a Instagram reel. I will link that down in the description box below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you next time with another recipe. Bye, Bye guys.